See Austin A40 for other A40 models and Austin A40 Sports for the sports car version of the Devon. The A40 Devon, and similar two-door A40 Dorset, are automobiles that were marketed by Austin from 1947 to 1952 the first post-war saloons to be produced by Austin, featuring a mix of old and new technologies. They were previewed by the UK press at the Paris Motor Show on the 22nd of October 1947, who expressed immediate disappointment at the car's conservative appearance. More than 450,000 were built before the model's replacement in 1952 by the Austin A40 Somerset. Both the Devon and Dorset were body-on-frame designs with modern bodies and a 1.2-liter straight 4.0-HV engine producing 40 brake horsepower, 30 kilowatt, at 4,200 revolutions per minute. They featured front coil sprung independent suspension but retained a rigid axle and semi-elliptic leaf springs at the rear. The girling brakes with 9 in, 229 mm, drums were operated hydraulically at the front and mechanically at the rear. Later cars had column-operated gear change and full hydraulic braking. A sliding sunroof and heater were extra cost options on the UK market. The Devon was the four-door version and was more successful than the two-door Dorset, which was dropped in 1949 after only 15,939 were made. The Countryman estate was produced up until 1956. A van and pickup truck were also produced. The Devon was the first post-war designed Austin to be assembled in New Zealand. It was produced from CKD kits at the Austin Distributors Federation assembly plant in Pedoni. Some examples are still on the road. There is an A40 Devon operating and registered in Hamilton as of 2019. A prototype A40 Dorset Tora was built at Longbridge in 1948. Although it was never put into production in England, various versions of the A40 Tora were made in Australia beginning in September 1948. A car tested by the Motor Magazine in 1948 had a top speed of 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, and could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, in 37.2 seconds. A fuel consumption of 34.1 miles per imperial gallon, 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers, 28.4 miles per US gallon, was recorded. The test car, which had the optional sliding roof, cost 505 pounds including taxes. Commentators also commended the excellent floor lever controlled four-speed gear change on the early models with smooth clutch action. The brakes, however, needed fairly firm pedal pressure. For maximum results, the car sold well, boosting Austin's standing in the sales charts in the process. Its success was attributed to the fact that it offered a lot of car for the money. As one in a series of collaborations between Austin and Jensen Motors of West Bromwich, the A40 Sports originated when Austin's chairman Leonard Lord, upon seeing the Jensen Interceptor, requested that Jensen develop a body that could use the Austin A40 Devon mechanicals. The center section of the chassis was boxed to provide rigidity for the open body, and the A40 Sports also employed a twin SU carburetor version of the 1.2-liter engine producing 46 brake horsepower, 34 kilowatt, rather than 42 brake horsepower, 31 kilowatt. During production, a40 sports bodies were built by Jensen and transported to Austin's Longbridge plant for final assembly, with approximately 4,011 examples manufactured.